let's look at the other three segments formed. So this time, um, we're referring to this angle to start. We're going to make the same three triangles, or really I'm going to do two. I'm not going to do three. So remember, theta is what we, re what we really want to refer to. We want to name these segments we're about to draw in reference to theta. But first, I'm going to use the complement of theta because that's the one that's part of the triangle. So we're going to start with the tangent one so that if I draw this time my tangent segment on top of the circle, oh, let me extend this purple line out right, and we meet with the green line uh, which is tangent we can call this green line tangent segment again but this time that would be in reference to the 90 minus theta the complement of theta and we want to name these segments all in relation back to theta, not the complement of theta. But uh, I like showing you this tangent of the complement because we can use this for some identities later on. And also it makes sense why it's called the tangent. It's still considered a tangent in the triangle that has the complement of theta. But um, we, if we want to relate it back to theta, we don't want to use the angle 90 minus theta. We want to refer to the angle theta. And we can't use tangent because we already have a name for a tangent. We're, tangent of theta is already used to name this blue segment on this triangle. So when we're in the complementary triangle, um, we're gonna call that the tangent of the complement of theta or the cotangent of theta. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I can go through all the same stuff where I said like if I call this segment here M and then it's M over one because this here is one, but we're not, I don't want to go through all that today. I just want to give you the names of the segments. So that one, that length is cotangent of theta, and it needs a name because it's a different length every time I change theta, right? So as theta gets larger and moves towards 90, the cotangent segment will start getting smaller and smaller and smaller and go towards zero, right? So that'll give us a picture of kind of in our mind what the cotangent is. On this same triangle now, I'm also going to name the purple segment. I don't want to draw a separate triangle for this. So this would be, if I extended it, right, this is our secant line that hits the circle twice. So we could call this the secant of the complementary angle, but we don't want to do that. We want to relate everything back to theta. So since it's the secant line, we already have, whoops, I want to relate it to theta. We already have a segment that we named the secant line. That's this one here in relation to theta. So we're going to call it, it's kind of the secant of the complement of theta. So we're going to call that the cosecant of theta. So it's CSC, cosecant. All right, so those are the names of those. So there's another triangle where we know the, the lengths of the three sides. We have the one for the radius of the circle. Then we have our cotangent of theta and our cosecant of theta. The other triangle we're going to draw is our sine triangle for the complement. So this time the purple segment, the angle, is going to stop on the unit circle. And then we've got this blue segment here that makes a right triangle. And then let's go with green coming down this way. Now, this green segment already has a name. It's already sine of theta. If we look back up at our sine, oh, I did that in yellow, but you can see that this will be the same length as if over here, because this will make like a, a rectangle, right? So I'm going to call that sine already. I already know that that's the same length, right? Because if I use theta and I were to make my sine, it would be right here. That would be the sine. So then this one is the sine of the complementary angle, 90 minus theta, right? That's what this angle is in here. Whoops, theta. Right, that's the sine of the complement. 
But we want to relate everything back to the green angle theta, not the complementary angle. So sine already has, uh, there's a segment that already has the name sine. So we're going to call this one the cosine of theta. It's the sine of the complement. Okay, if we spell out the word, that's how we spell it out. So now cosine is also the same down here. So on this triangle, um, on this triangle here, I just want to redraw the sine triangle and put the cosine on it. Because yeah, we use this. This is this is technically officially cosine, but we also know this length down here is also cosine because it's a rectangle, and they will be the same length. This will be the triangle that we're using most often in the next couple of weeks. But the other triangles will also become important as we go through the course. We know this length is one. And so we're going to, we're on the unit circle, right? We're going to find the lengths of cosine and sine of all different angles. If I have a pi over 3 angle, right? The cosine of pi over 3 and the sine of pi over 3 would be the x and the y. So, so I'm going to say that the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half because that is referring to this length right here. And we know for our 60 degree angle, that's the short number. The short number is one half. And then I know that the sine, pi over three, you should think about it for a second. What is the sine of pi over three going to be? Remember, that's this length right here for a 60 degree angle. I shouldn't put thetas in there, by the way. I know the angle. I'm telling you it's pi over three, pi over three. The sine's going to be that segment, which is the long number. So what is that number? You should try to get ahead of me here. It is root 3 over 2. So what this is saying is when I make my central angle pi over 3, the length of that segment, the purple segment here, uh, which is really the y-coordinate, but we're going to call it the sine, that length is root 3 over 2 for an angle of pi over 3. And sine is kind of representing the y value or the y coordinate. We're not going to answer these questions for now. I just wanted to get you that triangle so we can finish uh, building our unit circle. Next class.